This is a chatbot. It writes in Arabic and adheres to Islamic cultural values. It's been trained on dialects, human feedback, and expert advice from across the Arabic-speaking world. It's called Finar, and it was built in Qatar. But it would not be possible without heavy computation that happened in data centers thousands of miles away. Most uh, technology is really developed uh, incrementally, right? So you, you don't always start from scratch. If you start from scratch, you'd be re reinventing the wheel, uh, as it were. So the idea is that you start from something that is available, and then you build on top of it. Computation is now a global commodity, and the value of that data is growing. Right now, a few companies are sustaining the economy. They either build the chips that power artificial intelligence, build the data centers where the computation happens, or connect the two. But they're all building new equipment and facilities faster and bigger than ever before. An estimated $3 trillion by 2028. These resources allowed Chuka to build a single system that manages the calls, clients, and archives of a whole company. So you have the brain, like the open AI technology, on one end, and you have the end user. But we, sitting in the middle, is making this work. On the other side, you have lots of companies that use those giant resources to support smaller initiatives. Analysts say $2 trillion in revenue is needed by 2030 to make all of this pay off. So the question is, do AI's newest skills match these enormous promises? Investors say the next opportunities are yet to be uncovered. You don't have to have all this technical expertise. You need to know the expertise in your industry. You need to know the problems that you're looking for and solving for. Technology is, uh, is just the layer, it's just the infrastructure. One early promise of artificial intelligence was to improve access to technology. Connect Here employed humans to interpret sign language for deaf users remotely across Pakistan over WhatsApp. This community always lived in a bubble. They never had access to the basic human rights that they should have gotten access to before. They knew AI would multiply their reach, but there was no data on Indo-Pakistani sign language. So last year they made it themselves, recording a quarter million videos of each unique sign, a data set that could train a model. For us, that means using Google's MediaPy framework to recognize the pose of the human body, the hands, and track all of that data so that we can teach our systems with really high accuracy. Within a year, they're delivering alerts during disasters. One piece of a much bigger boom, a new platform to reach hundreds of thousands who were once left out. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera, at the Mobile World Congress in Doha. Don't miss out, get the full picture. Subscribe to Al Jazeera for reliable news and expert insights. Like, share, stay ahead.